Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill and welcome to our YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube! We are back. Um, YouTube, we will be doing weekly shows on your uh, on on our page for the uh, basically a weekly breakdown of our entire system, but not like like not like it's in the system. It's complicated, so we have some stuff coming forward that I'm trying to work out all the little tiny details of what we're gonna do, what we're not gonna do, what we're you know where we don't infringe upon other things that we're already doing. Um, one of the big things is, is I want to kind of touch on some of the other stuff going on in the NHL because there's always stuff going on in the NHL. So, but that's not why you're here. You're here to see our breakdown of the draft. So, first off, how the heck Montreal got their first round back? Okay, so here's how you got that. All righty, so... It was a first round conditional by Carolina. Carolina and Montreal and Arizona made a trade for Christian Dvorak. Montreal did not make the conditions, so Montreal got their pick back, but Carolina's pick goes to... Uh, In a weird sense, Carolina got screwed. Let's just be. <laughs> um, Christian Dvorak still plays for them, and we are where we are. Um, with that pick, they se selected Yurov Safalowski, um, talented big left winger. Um, I think that that you know is helpful um, for them also today. Montreal's been very busy. Um, Montreal also gets uh, trades Alexander Romanov in a fourth uh, for the Islanders first, which is the 13th overall. Um, they then flip that 13th overall and the 66th to the Blackhawks for Kirby Dock. Um, so there's that. Um, so Montreal already making moves. Um, the uh, New Jersey Devils pick at the second spot for the whole sole reason. Under the last CBA, you were not allowed to win the draft lottery multiple years in a row. So you were not allowed to win it, like, what, five, two, three, two times or three times within a five-year span? If I remember it correctly. I, I think remember. so. Anyway, um, they won it again, and they've won it twice in back-to-back -back years, and then they won it again this year. So they said, no, nah, you're picking second. <laughs> With that pick, they picked Simon Nemich, uh, right? Uh, right side defenseman it helps them out a lot. Um, Logan Cooley goes to Arizona at three. Um, I'm not so sure how that works out, but Arizona just got a lot cooler. <laughs> um, Shane Wright falls to four. But he said in an interview, let's get it on and crack in so <laughs> he's he's happy to be where he's going. Yeah. Um uh cut cutter uh Gunther, uh he is going to the flyers. Now interestingly enough, the next trade, the next draft pick is originally the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks pick would have been right here, which is David Yurichek, Yuri Check. But, but instead, the Blackhawks get Seth Jones, Nolan Allen, and a sixth round pick this year, and. 
Columbus gets Cole Slinger, David Yurgic, and Adam Boquist, along with Alexi Himosalami. Yes, I know I did not butcher that. That's literally his name. Out of that trade. So that trade tree is done. Alex Debrinkit on the move to the Ottawa Senators today from the Blackhawks for the seventh overall pick, a second round pick that is the 39th pick, and Ottawa's third round pick in 2024 with the seventh overall pick. The Blackhawks select Kevin Korshinsky, left side defenseman. Um, the Detroit Red Wings select Marco Casper. I was actually surprised to see him go this high. Uh, Matthew Savo was the one I was figuring they would pick, but it is what it is. Um, Matthew Savo goes nine to Buffalo. Um, uh, Pavel Mintyakov, uh, he went to the Ducks left side defenseman. Connor Kiki, part of this trade. This trade baffled me. Okay. Yeah. So this trade legit baffled me. Arizona gets trades the trades for the 11th pick for the San Jose Sharks from the San Jose Sharks, where they select Philip Bystad. Okay. And so at 27, I'm already reading off who they picked Philip Bystad. But so they get two second round picks and 11th overall. I'm sorry. I'm making that trade if I'm any other team for a guy like Connor Geeky. Yeah. Um, that's the number 12 slot. Columbus is the actual pick. They pick uh, Denton Matejchuk, a uh, left defenseman. So they picked a right defenseman and a left defenseman. Their defense is going to be good in the future. All right, now you're about to see how weird the Kirby Doc trade got. So uh, Alexander Rom Romanov si traded to the Islanders and a, for that and a fourth for Montreal. And then they turned around and flipped the pick that they got from the Islanders to the Blackhawks for Kirby Doc. With that pick, the Blackhawks select Frank Nazar. Nazar is the center from the U.S. Development Program. All right, and uh, John is, oh, hang on a second. Sorry, folks. All right, sorry folks, uh, had some uh, breaking news come across our desk. We will be getting to that after this. So check out our Facebook page from Milwaukee to Nashville or at MKE2Nash or NSH. Um, so at the 14th overall pick, uh, the uh, Winnipeg Jets select Rucker McBorty. Uh, he plays left wing and center, so it gives them a little bit of versatility there. Um, then uh, same thing for Vancouver. They got a right winger in the center, uh, Jonathan L Lackermackey. All right, here's where everything gets a little wonky. All right, remember the Jack Eichel trade? Yeah. Noah Olstad, Ostlin. Buffalo Sabres get Noah Ostlin. So Buffalo has two centers now in this draft so far. Um, Oslin's a good Swedish center. I think that oh, he'll do well there. Um, Nashville selects Joachim Kamel. Um, after watching some of his scouting videos in between our video we did on him, and now um, I'm even more pumped. <laughs> mm. He is a power play slugger. 
he kind of reminds me of Obi in that way. He will go to that circle and he will just stand there. So, um, uh, 18 says Liam Bushel. Um, he, he was one of the ones that I was thinking if, if, if there wasn't a good forward on the board that Nashville may jump at that, def that in particular defenseman, six foot five defenseman, stat stud player. Um, Dallas got themselves a good player in him. Uh, Liam Olgren, uh, left winger, uh, that was part of that whole Kevin Fiala trade. Um, well, I think they got a steal in that. Washington gets another Russian player, Ivan Mershenko. Um, so there's that. Uh, another one that Preds fans were calling for was Owen Pickering, um, young defenseman, left side. Um, then we had uh, Nathan Gucher out of Canada. So the reason this pick has come to fruition is uh, anybody remember Hampus Lindholm being traded at the deadline to Boston? Yeah. For John Moore, Oro Van Vakaninen, a first, a second, and a third in consecutive years. Yeah, nice and Goocher is what the Ducks picked up with that. Jimmy Sigurud. All right, wing center. Um, we'll see where he is there. Dan Danala, or Dan Danala Yarov. Right winger, Russia. Indefinite as far as the amount of time that they have to sign him. However, um, the Minnesota Wild get another Russian hockey player. Um, Sam Renzel, uh, part of a trade that the Leafs and the Blackhawks made. At first, I didn't understand it, and then I thought about it. All right. So the Blackhawks acquire Peter Morazic and a first round this year in for the 25th pick. All right. Well, why would Toronto trade out of the first round and only get a second round pick? Well, let's talk about that for a second because – you just dropped $3.5 million on the Blackhawks salary cap. That is why the pick was the way it is. So there's that as well, as far as that part is concerned. So um, looking at it from that perspective, um, it makes sense because the Blackhawks get some goaltending and the Leafs get some valuable cap space. Right. Um, which everyone's trying to get. The uh, Montreal Canadiens, remember Tyler Toffoli? Remember the, the, the trade that started it all? February yeah. 14th, 2022. Tyler Toffoli traded from, the, from Montreal to the Flames for Tyler Pitlick. Emil handed in a first round pick, which was conditional. If the pick was at the top 10, then the 2023 first round pick goes to um, goes to uh, uh, or as I should say, Calgary's 2023 first round pick would go to Montreal. The conditions were not met, so therefore um, Montreal gets the pick. In this draft, Philip Messer, right wing. All right. Uh, Philip Bystad, I said about the uh, old uh, Arizona Coyotes trade. So that's how that came of play, which is weird enough because the San Jose Sharks acquired this somehow. Yeah. Which, oh, it was part of that whole Christian Dvorak trade. Aha. Uh, Yuri Kluchik, 
Uh, he's going to Buffalo as part of the Sam Hart trade or Sam Reinhardt trade. Um, Maverick Lammer, all six foot seven of him. Uh, he was part of a trade with the Edmonton Oilers where the Coyotes pick up Zach Cassian's uh, cap hit and they get the 29th pick and uh, Edmonton moves to the 32 slot. Um, with that, the Coyotes select Maverick Lamoureux, which is a good right side defenseman, six foot seven. Like I said, I'm sorry. There's one thing in this world that you can't coach in that size. Yeah. Um, size is something you cannot coach. Um, Um, so, uh, there's that as well. Um, then Brad Lambert, oh man, did he drop? Yeah. He dropped hard and I felt bad for him because he was sitting there a while. Yeah, he was. I mean, we had him projected to be picked by the Preds, so. Right. He dropped hard and, and you know what? There's still a lot of good talent left in this draft. So. Um, tomorrow ought to be interesting to see how many people are 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 fighting, you know, at, fighting to get to the batting rack, as they say in baseball terms, to just get up there right. and knock one out of the park with a, you know, because that's what tomorrow is. Is is the, today you're supposed to get your your the guy that's at the top of your board. That's who you pick. Yeah. So. That's why sometimes you see guys that aren't exactly in people's top tens in that get picked in the first round because they're at the top of their board. Um, Brad Lambert is going to be a good hockey player, part of the Winnipeg trade for Andrew Cope. Um, the uh, Lightning select Isaac Howard. And as I said, the Edmonton trade because Darcy Kemper trade with Arizona uh, Ed, Edmonton so Darcy Kemper got traded from Arizona to, to Colorado Colorado um, then turned uh, Arizona then turned around and flipped it to Edmonton so that they could pick Maverick Lambert and that is the first round of the NHL draft. Now I do have some other stuff. Adam Boquist signed today. Jacob Middleton signed today. Chris Letang signed today. Mark Andre Fleury signed today. Dylan he Dylan Hetherington signed today, and Andre Kuzmenko signed today. So there's your breaking news on the um, free agent trade signing kind of thing. Um, we'll see what more comes tomorrow, obviously. There will be more tomorrow. Um, oh, the New York Rangers have uh, traded Alexander Gregoriev. Sorry about that. I forgot about this part. Um, to the Colorado Avalanche, the signing rights of Alexander Gregoriev to the Colorado Avalanche. So they still got to sign him. Yeah. Um, for a third, a fifth, and another third next year. So a third and a fifth this year, and a third next year. So Colorado oh. in the next two years has how many right? I am kind of curious to this because it looks like they've pretty much emptied their draft stockpile. Yeah, next year they have a first, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. The year after that, they have a first, a fourth, a sixth, and a seventh. Eek! I wouldn't say much for draft and development. <laughs> if you want to look at it that matter. Um, 
this year they have to sign uh, Nicholas Ev, uh, Kubel, um, Arturi Lackanen, Andre Burkowski, Darren Helm, Nemzo Kadri, Valeri Shurskin, and Nico Sturm. Um, that's just on their forward side. On the defensive side, they have to sign Jack Johnson, Josh Manson, and Ryan Murray. Um, as well as Gregoriev, who has arbitration rights. Ouch. So if he wants like $8 million and they want to give him like 4 he'll get six. Uh, Darcy Kemper is going to become a free agent on the 13th. Oh, they also got to sign Shane Bauer, Callahan Burke, uh, Mikel Maltza, uh, Keaton Middleton, Dennis Gilbert, Hunter Biska, but they'll probably let him walk. As well as just running down Colorado real quick. Um, they have till August 15th to sign Tyler Weiss. Or he will be a free agent. Um, as well as Sergei Boykinov, who is to the age of 27, which he is 26. So June 30th, 2023. Um, they have a lot of uh, guys here who are pretty high up there in age. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to uh, say that. And by the way, I can't help but not do a draft show or any kind of show without saying that I found the greatest name in the entire NHL draft this year. And that being Jagger Furkus. Um, you know, every draft you look for that one name that makes you chuckle when you hear it. Yeah. This one's, it's either Jagger or Jagger. Either way, it's funny. <laughs> so either he's, he's got the moves like Jagger or got moves like he drank some or he's got moves like Jagger or moves like he drank Jagger. <laughs> so, um, no, uh, the uh, NHL draft, always entertaining, always fun. The one thing about it, though, that's a little wonky this year, we were not expecting to start off with as much big movement as we had this, this time. Right. I mean, we heard rumblings, but... It's it's pretty odd seeing it. So, um, looking forward to uh, see where things go and where tomorrow leads. There, and we will never know. But you'll know. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our YouTube channel. We put videos up all the time. See y'all later.